what's good youtube this your boy chi world back at y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you but drop some heat in today's video i will be doing a full walkthrough on how to do a cartoon head using kylie jenner without further ado let's jump right into this thing first thing you want to do you want to make sure you drag and drop the picture you want to use you want to hold shift you want to hold alt at the same time so we can resize this picture but keep it all in the right scale okay i'm gonna place it about right right there drop the opacity down on this picture create us a new layer right above it and then you want to come right up here to the top then you want a new brush hit okay come down here to pressure and change these bottom numbers to three and this is the brush i use for all my videos it's just a pressure brush you got to have a digital art tablet to be able to use pressure you cannot use pressure with your mouse that's like because your mouse cannot tell whether you're pressing down hard or you're pressing light so you would need to invest into you a digital pad or a digital tablet and i will put some of those in the description below if you want to know what i would recommend for you you know what i'm saying now that we set our brush now we can go in and do the line work What I want to do real quick, we're going to get out our pencil tool. So you want to double click your pencil tool. Make sure your settings look exactly like mine's on your pencil tool. And you want to hit OK. You want to move this black color to the top. And make sure your bottom color is locked so we can use our pencil tool as a fill-in tool. So any selection we make with our pencil tool it'll fill in the inner area you know what i'm saying so whatever you do you got to make sure you bring it around so it'll fill that inner area in and we're going to use that to color in the hair so i'm going to bring this up fill that in we're gonna zoom in close right here. The closer you zoom in, the more you can add finer detail, you know what I'm saying? But we just gonna do the basics right now with this filling. Just wanna fill all that in. We're gonna come up here. I'll do the same thing. We're just gonna make this flow. Let's fill it in. We're just gonna bring that back. Come right here and do the same thing. We're gonna come back later and we're gonna add finer detail. I'm gonna come 
closer to the eyes. We're going to add a little detail. We're still using this pencil tool. Come on this side and we're going to do the same exact thing. Now, we can fill in these eyelashes with the pencil tool just by doing this. Close it off. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. So, do the same exact thing. Keep the same flow going. Then we're gonna come back and close that off. Now I'm finna get back out my brush tool. Finna make my lines as small as I can get it. And we finna come in and we finna add a little finer details. The closer you zoom in, the, the better you can improvise and make the detail. Now that we finished with the line work, what you want to do, you want to select everything, you 
you want to go to object expand appearance then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so you can make all the lines become one you want to drag your line work layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy lock the top copy come to your second one and then you want to find you a nice little base color to start out with for the skin tone so go to your rectangle tool and you want to drag that color over the entire picture okay after you do that you want to right click the color go to a range and send to back and you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here and you'll see your line work sitting on top of the color so after you do that we're gonna we're gonna make the color become one with the line work so we're gonna highlight everything select everything then we're gonna click merge so it can become one with this color after we make it become one we're gonna right click the color go to isolate select the group and now we can click areas that we made sure we closed off separately. So this part is closed off, so it's only selecting that. The neck is closed off, the lips closed off, so I can change these colors individually. I'm gonna select this outer color and I'm gonna delete it because I don't want it. Before we get deeper into color and everything, let's go ahead and do this. Click this drop down menu on our color layer we just created. Click it again. Stroll down till you see your last black line work. And then you want to lock all your black line work. And leave the top to unlock. So now we can select things and not make a mistake and select our black line work. So let's go to isolate select group. Now change that to white. Change this to white. Then we're gonna our eye color is like right here. So that's a good base color. Select this eye over here. Get our drop eye drop tool to copy that. Now we're gonna come down here to the lips. The lips is the same tone, so all we gotta do is make it make it match. Nice little base color, man. Nice little base color. We're going to select this inner part. And we're going to highlight all this. Select all this. And we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to edit colors. Adjust color balance preview so we can see the little changes we make. And let's try to find a nice little tone we have it with. And I think it's right there. Okay, I'm happy with that already. So we're gonna go with that for now. Bam. Click off of it. Now we got a nice base. We got a nice base color. So what we finna do, we gonna make a copy of our color layer. We gonna lock the bottom color layer, turn the eye off, come to the, the color layer in the middle, and we gonna delete the skin color out of that layer. So I, I, I click my white selection tool, and I'm gonna just delete the skin. Color. And I'm going to leave my eye colors 
and I'm gonna leave my lip color. Cause we're gonna sit that layer on top of the skin color. You'll see why I'm doing this at the end. We're gonna make sure, make sure we deleted all the little skin colors out the hair. And that's why we locked all our black lines. So we want it to be easier to work around it without selecting it. So we can delete all these colors in the hair. Okay, I'm gonna select all these and delete it. Select that, delete it. Now, we're gonna bring that eye back on the bottom color layer. We're gonna lock that color layer too. And we're gonna create us a layer in between that. So now, gonna find us a shadow nice shadow tone and look our shadow is gonna fall right behind the eye layer and it's gonna fall behind the lip layer because we put that on top that's why we deleted the skin tone off of that layer so now let's find us and let's place one shadow down so we can tweak that color before we finish adding the rest of the colors. So but now select that shadow. Go to edit colors, adjust color balance. Let's, We're gonna have to keep tweaking the colors till we find the exact one we want, but I'm gonna just use that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and add my shadows. Place my shadows exactly where they need to be. Now that we got all our dark shadows placed where they need to go, I just selected it all. I'm gonna go to Object, Expand. I'm gonna click Merge on my Pathfinder so we can make them all one. All our dark shadow lines, we just made that one. Let's go to Edit. Let's go to Adjust Color Balance Preview. Now we gotta slowly make this thing have a nicer blend so I just keep changing all of it all the colors just tweaking it till I get it exactly flowing the way I need it okay I'm gonna hit okay that's a nice little flow right now now we finna add another shadow layer. 
but we're gonna go even lighter. So we're gonna put this new shadow layer behind the dark shadow layer we just made. And the more we keep adding our shadows, we're just gonna keep tucking them. We're gonna keep putting it under the shadow that we previously made. So it'll slowly build, you know what I'm saying? Gonna get out my blur brush and I'm gonna use it as an airbrush. Make it bigger, got the opacity down on it.
And there you have it, you guys. How to do a cartoon head in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out.